Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams. Remember the name. What's up, dudes? Welcome to the video. If you're new to my channel, you may have noticed that lately I haven't exactly been the biggest fan of Uber Eats. And the reason for that, well, there's a couple reasons to be honest. But number one, the main reason is because I think their pay sucks. Especially compared to the other delivery apps. I think Uber Eats in general pays the least. So because of that, in general, my opinion on Uber Eats compared to the other delivery apps hasn't been the best. I usually rank Uber Eats at the bottom of the food delivery totem pole. But that may all be changing very soon. I got an email from Uber today that said they are announcing something called the Surge. Which if you're familiar with Uber in general, I believe they already do the Surge. They've done it for a long time with the uh, people delivery side of Uber. But now they're finally introducing it to Uber Eats. So what is the Surge? Well, check this out. As you can see on the screen, the Surge is basically gonna be a heat map and it's gonna show you where the hot spots are. Those hot spots, which are usually gonna be around probably the more popular food delivery times of the day, like the middle of lunch, the middle of dinner, or perhaps when it's like raining or there's bad weather outside, is going to be where you'll be given the opportunity to make the most amount of money from the Surge. So basically how it's gonna work, Based on the heat map, the orange areas are good, the red areas are the best. That means that's the hottest, it's on fire, that's where you can make that cheddar cheese, so that's where you wanna be. Anyway, so the moral of the story, it sounds like the whole surge thing is gonna be based on supply and demand. So if there's a ton of people placing orders and there's a lot more orders than there is delivery drivers in the area, that is when the surge is gonna come into play. So when you see these hot spots, if there's like red spots, that means there's a lot more orders than delivery drivers. And the way it's gonna work from what I understand, it will be a fixed price. So they'll set the surge price for say like $5. So you get paid $5 extra per order on top of whatever you're normally getting paid for that order. So the difference between the surge and the boost is the boost is a multiplier. I'm sure you guys are familiar with it if you've done Uber Eats in the past. A lot of times it will be like, say like 1.5 times. So that means whatever you're making for that order, you multiply it by 1.5 and that's what you get paid for the boost. The surge, like I said, is just gonna be a fixed price. And from the way I understand it, from reading that little press release or whatever, it says it'll be a fixed amount and it says that it will say the fixed amount in the app prior to accepting the order. So you look at the little heat map and if it's like an orange area, maybe it'll say like five bucks. If it's a red area, maybe it'll say like six bucks. And like I said, from the way I understand it, that will be added on top of whatever you're normally getting paid for that order. And I also read that it will be completely separate from the uh, boost or whatever other promotions Uber's running. So you could technically get boost pay and surge pay. So it sounds like uh, Uber's definitely going in the right direction. The reason I'm making this video is to let you guys know. I'm not, as I've said already, in the past I haven't been a huge advocate for Uber Eats. I'm not a huge fan, uh, but it looks like things hopefully are headed in the right direction. And if that's the case, if uh, this is as good as it sounds, and if there actually is a decent amount of surge pricing in my area, uh, unfortunately, for whatever reason, I thought they completely got rid of the boost, but I did go into the little promotions tab in my Uber Eats app and noticed that they're running a boost in my area this Saturday. So I guess it's just not as common as it used to be, but hopefully that will come back as well. So if they start doing more boosts and the surge thing actually happens and actually happens frequently, you guys will probably be seeing me do a lot more Uber Eats videos. So fingers crossed. This is as good as it sounds. Fingers crossed it will give myself and all you other delivery drivers out there a chance to make more money. And hopefully it will be a good thing for everyone. And hopefully, maybe in like a month or so, I'll have a much, much, much higher opinion of Uber Eats. And like I said, I'll be doing a lot more Uber Eats videos. So I just wanted to let you guys know if you haven't heard about that, if you do deliver for Uber Eats, or maybe like me, you kind of wrote them off because the pay was terrible, that is something to look out for. Let me know what you guys think about the surge. If it's already happened in your area, 
maybe they're been rolling it out like city by city I don't know I just got an email about it today like I said so uh, this is the first time I've heard about it I just pulled up my uber eats app real quick and you guys can see I scrolled out quite a bit so downtown Orlando somewhere around there it's 11 19 right now so it's getting close to lunchtime I don't see anywhere just kind of browsing around I don't see any heat maps so maybe they haven't actually started the uh, surge yet in my area but when they do like I said I'll definitely go to the area do some deliveries make a video and let you guys know what I think about it at that time in the meantime if you got any questions about the uber eats surge or anything else uber eats related drop those below and I will catch you in the next video Enjoy the rest of your day, enjoy your weekend, thanks for watching, and as always, stay limitless. Take a shot, you got everything you'll ever need, you fought, you're not gonna let up on the speed, those knots, they got you, are only make believe.